These photo shows are fun, but they're work because you have a lot of outfits, a lot of different moods. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. I feel like what, if you have a great team around you, then it's good, but this glamorous thing, it's not easy. <laughs> I just want my jeans and no makeup. <laughs> Hi, my name is Florian Schneider. I'm a photographer. I am shooting uh, the campaign for the sixth season of Desperate Housewives this year's title, Armed and Desperate. When we were shooting the, the ladies, we were asking them to sort of like give us sort of heroic poses in order to create an image that is almost reminiscent of sort of antique, epic battle paintings of Michelangelo, this kind of, this was kind of like the idea to take it over the top in a way but at the same time present with a bit of a tongue-in-cheek kind of humor because ultimately it's a, it's a show that is young and energetic and sexy. I think what motivates Lynette is her family, wanting her family to be healthy and safe and for each one to be fulfilled and for her to have a life with her family and uh, outside of her family. I think Catherine is very uh, cagey. She's very clever. So I think she uses her wits to sort of plot ahead. She gets, it's like chess, she's a couple steps ahead. Catherine loves power. <laughs> yes, don't we all? <laughs> You're pregnant. Excuse me? About six weeks or so. Are you sure it's not cancer? Do I think the twins are going to change how she lives her life and what her goals are? Yes. I mean, the difference is, is when you have a newborn, your highest goal is a nap. So I'm sure that it'll go from being a successful businesswoman to just a nap. The set behind me was a set that, again, had a bit of a character on its own. This was a set that we most definitely wanted to use for a group shot with all the five women together. Um, the idea behind it, I think, was to have a sort of like a vintage housewife feel a little bit, with a bit of a tongue in cheek again. There was there was various utensils, like an old uh, 1950s vacuum cleaner, 1950s stove that was sort of like halfway buried behind the trees, and everything was sort of like overgrown by a large apple tree. And apples obviously have had a symbolic ca character in the show over the years, and have been used in the visual visual campaigns many times. So we wanted to kind of stay true to that to that theme and sort of show the apple, the apple trees again. That was part of that set. I think Catherine would do anything to keep her man. I think that right now that's how she's defining herself. If she could get Mike to love her, then she can prove that she's lovable. So in the season finale wedding, who was Mike kissing on the altar? Let's see. Um, how thin was the bride? <laughs> that's the question. It could be Mrs. McCluskey for all we know. <laughs> Uh, just, I really don't know who the bride is. I would like to know myself. But it's a matter of looking in the back of that dress and whose body was that?